Tisha, there's widespread public concern and anger at the manner in which a family were evicted from their home near Strokestown in Roscommon last week. And the video footage that has emerged of the incident is absolutely shocking, to say the least, with a private security firm being given free reign to do as they pleased in evicting a family from their home. That a family, Tisha, any family, would be subjected to the type of treatment that was visited on this family last Tuesday is appalling. It was an ordeal, ordeal of fuggery from a group of men acting on behalf of a financial institution with the Gardaí watching on. And I think that's a cause of significant concern to any right-thinking people. What happened in Roscommon was a disgrace. It was unjustified. And it brought to mind the scenes of our past where families were being evicted and thrown onto the side of the road. The shocking reality, Thesha, is that those undertaking these types of acts on behalf of the banks and vulture funds are not authorised, they are not regulated and they are not covered by the Private Securities Act. The Private Security Authority has confirmed this much to my colleague Donahoe O'Leary. And it's time, Tisha, for a policy shift, a shift away from satisfying the demands of the banks and supporting families and supporting communities. Pressure needs to be brought to bear on those financial institutions who are using these outfits to turf people out of their homes. They can't simply shrug their shoulders and pass this off, and neither can you, Tisha. It is extraordinary that we expect door staff or people doing security in shops to be regulated and comply with the highest standards. It is extraordinary that we require somebody to be regulated if they're fitting a lock to your front door. But if these henchmen, these enforcers for the banks come in and ram down their door and drag out an elderly citizen by their ears from their own home and throw them out of their own property, they go without regulation, without authorisation and without oversight. And the lack of accountability, Tisha, is shocking. And those who are forcing evictions, who are acting in a violent and abusive way, need to be held accountable. There is a need for urgent regulation in this area, and it can be done rather quickly. It can be done speedily, and it can be done by amending the Private Security Service Act by adding a new category of security personnel to come within the remit of that Act and under the scope of the Private Security Authority. This morning, Donahue O'Leary, my colleague, has published legislation to bring this into being, and that needs to be done right now. We need to ensure that we don't see a repeat of the incidents and the nonsense that we saw on Frederick Street, where people were uh, wearing balaclavas in Dublin in September, or the incidents in Ross Common last week and the incidents that followed it. So can I ask you, Thesha, will you support the legislation that we have published today to ensure that these type of bank enforcers will no longer go without the oversight and authority and regulation that they've been given to heretofore? Thesha, three minutes. Thanks, Deputy. I think all of us need to be careful in this House uh, not to say too much about individual cases without uh, all of us knowing the facts. And if you've read the papers today and you've followed the coverage of this story, um, the facts behind this individual case seem to be um, about much more than an elderly farm family being evicted from their farm. It involves, it involves many years uh, of debts and arrears, involves VAT fraud, involves tax evasion. Uh, involves lots of other things, so I think we should be careful not to assume. I think we should be careful not to assume uh, that, 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 that any individual case does, does, doesn't have doesn't have reasons doesn't have um, doesn't have does, doesn't have reasons behind it. Um, but to answer, to, to answer your question, Deputy, uh, as things stand, uh, under the Private Security and Services Act of 2004, uh, anybody who engages in private security is obliged to comply with the law and behave in a lawful manner. But while doormen, uh, while people who fit alarms, uh, while people who provide security at events are required to be regulated by the Private Security Authority, uh, people carrying out uh, and executing eviction orders are not. And it is perhaps the case that when that law was enacted by these Oireachtas in 2004, uh, that was overlooked. Uh, so we accept that uh, it may well be uh, a wise thing and a good idea to now amend the law uh, to cover the regulation uh, of these uh, security agents um, uh, by the um, private security services. And Minister Fanagan uh, said as much yesterday, uh, and we'll do some work on that. And if it's the right thing to do, and I believe it is the right thing to do, uh, we will bring 
um, uh, people uh, providing security services or whatever the correct term for them is uh, into, um, uh, it, it, into regulation. I think it's also important to point out, Karen Corla, that um, this eviction order uh, was executed following a High Court hearing. Uh, nobody likes to see anyone being evicted under any circumstances. Nobody wants to see it happening, particularly in the run-up to Christmas, uh, Christmas at this time of year. However, uh, the High Court does not issue eviction orders lightly in Ireland. In Ireland, 116,000 mortgages have been restructured. 116,000 people have sought help and have had their mortgages restructured. Yet there have only been 400 eviction orders executed in the last year. 100,000 mortgages restructured, only 400 eviction orders executed last year. And the High Court in Ireland in particular has a very high barrier for allowing eviction orders to be issued, repossession orders in the first place, uh, and eviction orders uh, thereafter, uh, and doesn't do it lightly. I think it's important that we bear that in mind, in mind as well, uh, because we do live in a society uh, in which a lot of people struggle uh, to uh, get a mortgage because they want to buy a home. And a lot of people who have a home in Ireland pay higher mortgage rates than people do in other countries. And we need to bear in mind the facts beyond that. 100,000 people have had their mortgages restructured against 400 eviction orders. And the High Court in Ireland does not issue eviction orders lightly, nor are they executed lightly. The Taoiseach talks about the facts. I'm not sure because the Taoiseach responded last week that you watched the video of me questioning some of the bankers. Maybe you can confirm that you watched the video of these bank enforcers and how they behaved in relation to this family. And as I said, no family, regardless of their circumstances, and it's not the revenue that are evicting them, regardless of their circumstances, should be treated in this way. This idea that banks and forces, these thugs, and I call them thugs, can, can enter into somebody's property, can cut down locks, can break down doors, can take somebody out by their ears, can kick somebody on the ground and push them out of their own home and property while the guards watch on is not acceptable. And we have raised this with you countless times. And it is not just bank enforcers that are unregulated. We have rent receivers that is unregulated. But why are they doing this? And why is the public so outraged? And I commend the public for standing up in solidarity with the family and people who are facing eviction and standing against the type of thuggish behaviour that we seen last Tuesday. Why are they doing this? Because your government has completely abandoned these communities. You have rolled out the red carpet for the vulture funds. You are allowing thousands of sales of restructured performing mortgages to take place to the vultures outside of the code of conduct of the central bank. And you have allowed time and time again yeah, the banks to write roadshop over ordinary people. Tisha to so Tisha, will you, and because you said if, if it may is required, will you ensure that this is the last yeah, time Marty, that unauthorised, unregulated bank henchmen will be question. entering property and behaving in the type of despicable way respond, that we've seen please. in Roscommon last Tuesday? Tisha, one minute. Deputy, I agree with you that we need proper regulation in this area. The Minister for Justice acknowledged that yesterday. Uh, he's established an interdepartmental group to examine it with the view to them reporting to him in January in only a few weeks' time. So I agree with you uh, that we need regulation in this area. I agree with you that nobody wants to see people evicted ever from their homes, particularly at Christmas time. Uh, where evictions occur, uh, they should only ever happen in rare cases after the court has heard both sides of the story and has issued a repossession order first and an eviction order thereafter. And that, I understand, happened in this case. But I'm very concerned, Deputy, that you've had, nothing, you've had nothing to say about what happened afterwards. 20 or 30 people arriving in a cattle truck, armed with baseball bats, who then injured three or four other people, set cars alight, uh, and caused an animal to be shot dead. I find it very concerning that you have nothing to say about that. So you've made two contributions now, and you've not, con and you've not condemned. 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 Please, without interruption. Deputy Darty, please. Deputy Darty. Deputy Darty, restrain yourself. Deputy Darty. Deputy. Deputy. Deputy Darty, please. Deputy Darty. 
Deputy. Two of us won't be standing at the one time. Deputy. De t shirt. T shirt. T shirt. You might like the answer, Deputy, but. Deputy, is Deputy is I condemn violent and thuggish behaviour by anyone under any circumstances, so let there be no doubt about this. But in two contributions, in fact, in three contributions now, uh, you, you, uh, you have dismissed the fact that tax evasion is a serious offence. You have criticised you have criticised the Gardaí. You have criticised the High Court for making this order, having heard the Tisha, cases. Got uh, and you have said nothing about the thugs uh, who, who, who climbed on the back of a Tisha, cattle truck, got 20 time. of them, broke into property, injured three people, killed a, killed a, uh, 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 killed a dog. Uh, Deputy you know, and moving on immediately to Br Deputy Brendan Howland. Deputy Brendan Deputy Doherty Deputy If this continues if this Deputy, continues Deputy, when, it comes no to, when it comes to Sinn Fein and the rule of law Tisha. And public order Deputy and Brendan condemning Brendan. violence, it doesn't take very long for your balaclava to slip. Tisha. Deputy Deputy, Bre Deputy Brendan Howland Deputy Bre Deputy Doherty, Deputy Doherty, Deputy Doherty, Deputy Doherty. If the intention is Deputy Doherty, Deputy Doherty, I will have to exercise if necessary. Deputy Brendan Howland, for three minutes. One for a mic. One for a mic. I would suggest that you both. I would suggest that you both read the blacks when they're available, and maybe we could revisit it. Hold on, Tisha. No, no. You can both read the read the blacks, both of you. And if we have to revisit it, we will. Deputy Brendan Howland. 